Hello and welcome to this manipulation of ratios video where today we're going to be looking at sharing in a ratio. Let's jump right in. So to solve these questions, there's going to be two different methods we're going to use. We're going to use diagrams and we're going to use mathematical methods. Okay, so we're going to show you both just so you can see two different ways to answer the question. And then hopefully we'll work towards always using the mathematical method. Okay, so Jack and Jill are given £20, share between them in the ratio 2 to 3. How much money do they each get? So first of all, with these questions, generally, if they tell you the names in a certain order, in this case, they're told we've got Jack and Jill, and they share in the ratio two to three, the names and the ratios should match up. So if Jack come first, he'll get the two, and if Jill comes second, she gets the three. So Jack and Jill, two parts, three parts. Okay, so we're going to answer this question using diagrams. So Jack has got two parts. So to represent Jack's money, I'm going to give him two boxes. To represent Jill's money, I'm going to give her three boxes because Jack has two parts and Jill has three parts. So here's their boxes. Now, let's think about what we've got here. So here we have five parts, okay? So there's five parts in total because Jack's got two and Jill's got three. So how much is all of this equal to? Well, we're told in the question they're given £20 to share. So we're told that these five parts equal £20. OK, so we need to find out what each of these boxes are worth. So we need to find out what one part is worth. Well, to get from five to one, I have to divide by five. Five divided by five is one. So therefore, if I find out how much money one part is worth, I need to divide £20 by five. So 20 divided by five is four pound. So I now know that one part is four pound. So that means Jack's got two boxes, so he's gonna have four pound in each box. So that mean Jack, that means Jack gets eight pound in total. And what about Jill? Well she has three boxes and if she has four pounds in each box that means Jill's gonna get twelve pound out of the total. OK, and just to make sure we've got the right amount, double check, is 8 plus 12, 20? Yes, it is. So we know that Jack gets £8 and Jill gets £12. OK, so that's the, diagramat that's, that's the diagram way of showing how to answer these ratio questions, OK? But let's look at the mathematical method now. So. Bill and Ted are given £36 to share between them in the ratio 5 to 4. How much money do they each get? So the first step we need to do is find out the total parts. Okay, so we want to find out how many parts are in this question. Okay, and we did this just by drawing the boxes. But here we're going to add up the ratio numbers. So Bill and Ted share in the ratio 5 to 4. We have got 5 plus 4, meaning there are 9 parts nine parts in total. Okay, so there are nine parts total. Next, we need to find out what one part is worth. So uh, we need to find out what one part is worth. Well, if we know, well, if we know nine parts is equal to all of the money, which is this 36 pound. So we know nine parts is equal to 36 pound what do I have to do to find out what one part is? Well, to get from nine to one, I divide by nine. Therefore, I have to do the same to my 36 pounds. So 36 pound divided by nine is four pounds. 36 divided by nine is four. So I now know that one part is four pounds, okay? Now to finally answer the question now, so step three, step three now, let's find out how much Bill and Ted get. So Bill, Bill, in the ratio of five to four, Bill's gonna get five parts. Okay, so if Bill gets five parts and we know one part is four pound, we need to do five times four pound, which is 20 pounds. 
So Bill is going to get £20. And then Ted, Ted only gets four parts. And we know that one part is four pounds. So to calculate four parts, we need to do four times four pound, which is 16 pound. And just double check our answers. Do Does 20 and 16 add up to 36? Yes, it does. So to answer the question, Bill gets 20 pounds and Ted gets 16 pounds. Let's have a look at one more example. So Tom and Jerry, they're given £45 to share between them in the ratio 9 to 6, okay? How much money do they each get? Well, again, step one, we need to add up the parts, okay? So step one, add up, add up the parts of the ratio, okay? So we've got 9 and 6, so 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. So we know there's 15 total parts. Step two, we know that there are 15 parts in total, and this is equal to the total money in the question, which is 45 pounds, okay? Now, I wanna find out what one part is. So to go from 15 to one, I divide by 15. So 15 divided by 15 is one, and then I have to do 45 divided by 15. To do this, I can just check my 15 times table very quickly. I'll just write my 15 times table over here. I got 15, 30, 45. So I know that there are three 15s in 45. Okay, so 45 pounds divided by 15 is three pounds. That leads me onto the final step of this now. How much does Tom get? Well, Tom, he, he's going to get nine parts told in the question. So Tom's going to get nine parts. So nine times one part, which we know is three pound. So nine times three pound is going to be 27 pounds. That's, that's Tom. How much is Jerry going to get? Well, Jerry, Jerry only gets six parts. So he's going to have six times one part, which is three pounds, going to six times three pound, which is going to be 18 pound. Okay. Just double check quickly. Do these numbers 27 and 18 add up to 45 pound? I think you'll find they do. So I'm happy that Tom gets 27 pound and Jerry gets 18 pound. Okay. So for these questions, try using this method to answer how much money each person gets. Okay. Let's have a look at the main task. Okay, so here's the main task. So to answer these questions, try and use the mathematical method if you can, but if you need to use the diagrams, please do so. So pause the video and have a go with these. Best of luck. Okay, here are the answers. Very well done if you got those all right, especially that challenge question on the end there. Let's have a look at the checking question for today. So, Mike and Sully share £49 in the ratio of 3 to 4. How much money do they each get? So pause the video and have a go at this. Best of luck. Okay, so we're going to go through the mathematical method for this, okay? So step one, we need to add up the total parts. So 3 plus 4 is 7 parts in total. Okay, now the second part, we need to figure out how much money is in one part. Okay, so we know seven parts is equal to all the money, which is £49. So if seven parts is equal to £49, how much is one part worth? Well, to get from seven to one, I have to divide by seven. So I have to divide my 49 part, my 49 pounds by seven. Okay. And 49 divided by seven is seven. So I now know that one part is equal to seven pound. And the final bit now, how much money do they each get? Well, Mike, 
he gets three parts. So Mike gets three parts. So Mike is going to have three times seven pound, which is 21 pounds. And Sully gets four parts. So he is going to get four times seven pound, which is 28 pound, Oops, sorry, 28 pound. So those are my answers for now, but let's double check. Does 21 and 28 add up to 49, which is our original amount of money? I think it does. So that is how much money Mike and Sully get. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.